if I had a dollar for every person that asked a nutritionist about a good protein rich snack, I would be one rich lady. So I thought, why not, while we're on the subject of miso, which is so nutritionally good for you as well, I can make a little snack for us. Now, I'm just thinking, Rosie, if they came to me, I would give them some great advice. Have a nice big steak, T-bone steak, plenty of protein in that. Right, this is why this is so important that we do this today. So what I've got is I've got some edamame, okay? So nice. edamame, I'm just gonna quickly blanch them, but edamame are actually a very juvenile young soybean. So oh. that's why they've got that little green flavor and they can see they're young, they have lots of abundant oh, energy. They, they pop out. There great. you go. Yeah, yeah. So what I'm gonna do is just 45 seconds to one minute, just quickly warm them up a little bit. They don't need much. You can do it from frozen or if you've got fresh, that would be just brilliant. So I'm gonna give them a little bit of a taste. So a little bit of a metabolism booster as well. Nice. So I've got this chili paste here. If you just wanna put one tablespoon, of course, if chili is a little bit sensitive with you, just slim it down a little bit or cut it, absolutely. What I'm also gonna do now is I've got my red miso. So miso comes in lots of different varieties. Today I've got the red one, which apparently nice. I think in um, Japanese culture, they'd have more in the winter time. Nice. I can tell what you mean. It's got a little red tinge to it. A little red tinge. Mm. So mm. what I'm also going to do, I've got a little bit of um, coconut sugar. I'm just going nice. to put that in there. So I want a little bit of mirror in there as well. Nice. And I've got a little bit of sake, which you'll be happy about too. I like that as well, yep. And then a tablespoon of each? Yeah, a tablespoon right. of each. And then I've got a tablespoon and a half of just soy sauce. So of course we want it to have a little bit of a kick. You don't need to add any other salt, because of course soy sauce is quite salty already. There we go. I think and that's then you can have a little mix of that I one. Do that for you. Well, and you, I... want a, you want a thick paste to flavour some paste. That's what you're looking for. Paste. And so what I'm going to do is these have nicely just warmed themselves up. I'm going to grab a bowl just here. Doesn't take long whatsoever. And of course, you can eat these just on their own as well. So I've got them just like that. I see what you mean. Straight out of their pot, nice and hot, uh, and you just. Uh, pop them out of the shells like that. That's the idea, isn't it? That's it. Yeah. I wouldn't eat the shells, you know. I've been on a, a few dates where they have eaten the shells and, well, that's a little bit embarrassing, but that's OK. They're very fibrous. I've done that before. I find <laughs> them quite chewy. And nothing good about Come them. Come on, all, Adrian. Yeah. No shells today. Right, I'm going to leave you with just stirring that one. I, I want you to just one. try and cover those edamame there. And what I'm going to do is a little splash of sesame oil. So you okay. want me to pour this on top of the yes, edamame? Yes, if you could. Okay. And I want to coat them all. Nice. And then what I'm just going to do is a quick little kind of shallow fry, making sure that all that paste gets nicely coated all over the edamame. So the idea is you'd pick it up and you'd get it on your fingers, and as you're pulling the little soybeans out, you'd get that paste get on nice it as well. Nice, yeah. I like that. Yeah, I think vegetarian doesn't need to be boring either. I've got a beautiful bit of plant-based protein there. And meat eaters don't, can't, don't like boring either, so every bit of flavour you can add. And I can smell this. It smells yeah. really good. Really, um, really pungent. The paste is in there as well, and the soy sauce, I know, is going to season it up nicely. Exactly. So what we're going to do now is I'm just going to pop it into the pan and it really only needs one to two minutes keeping your eye on it or oh, the smell what that extra little bit of heat at the end is going to do is just release all of that smell all of those beautiful flavors so one minute it will just caramelize a tiny little bit and it'll be perfect for us to taste They have been seasoned beautifully, Adrian, ready for the taste test. And you can tell that nothing's stuck to that pan. No, exactly. I only put a tiny little bit of sesame oil because actually if you have a really good non-stick pan, you're not going to need that oil. Nice, I like it. It smells really good. Yeah. You know what I like about that marinade is it could work really well with chicken or, or pork or you prawns. You could use that marinade on anything. You really, really could. We've got some again. We said they are the juvenile soybeans. They're jumping everywhere. They, they taste great. I just had a little taste of that. And that's the idea. You pick it up and you lick your fingers. You're going to have that, mmm, I love it. Finger licking good, I suppose, they are. It's a perfect snack, protein rich, so it's going to keep you full for quite a while. And it's also got that lovely chilli that's going to be um, smashing that metabolism, getting it to speed up. It's enough for me. What are you going to eat? <laughs>